You're responding, Playboys. Welcome back to another video, man. I feel like I need to create a new intro, but that intro is just so goaded and it goes back from years ago when I first started YouTube, so maybe I won't change it. But today's video, man, I don't really got much going on. Uh, we're going to be installing some rear camera arms for the third time. If you guys have been a long follower, subscriber, support, supporter of uh, this channel, man, you guys know that I have two other videos when I try to throw on some camera arms and didn't go the right way. Either the camera arm, camera arm was completely incorrect or it was just junk. So we have some new camera arms. They're not the prettiest, but they should get the job done. They're pretty bulky, as you guys can see. Um, heavy as hell. I'm not really caring about weight, but I do want to fix that rear fitment on Dusty. So these are needed. Um, yeah, man. I put some uh, anti-seize on them because... You don't want those to see when you're. You don't want those to seize while you're trying to adjust them on the adjustment rack or alignment rack. So yeah, it's time to get these on. I'm not gonna give you guys like a walkthrough if you guys want. You got. Ah, I can't speak today. If you guys want to walk through, just go check out my other two videos. I basically explain exactly how you're supposed to do it. It's literally two bolts. That mounts up to the chassis and then one boat that mounts up into your knuckle and literally that's it so uh yeah let's get into it man actually no i'm, I'm gonna show you guys after i finish let's do it all right guys so i got one arm on uh let me make that brighter all right so one arm is currently on as you guys can see there's two bolts that bolts into that and then there's one bolt that busts into your knuckle, like I said, and literally that's it. That's how you take out your uh, rear camera arms or your stock arms. And then after you remove them, you're gonna, uh, I got the stock arm right here. You're gonna use this as your model for your new one. So basically this is how you're gonna want your camera adjustment to be until you go to the alignment shop and you get it adjusted. But yeah, it's that damn simple, dog. Stupid simple. Oh, you gotta just love Florida, bro. At least I got the rear arms on. Um, stock arms are currently in the box. Bro. Hey, bro. I hate Florida. <laughs> y'all see the good side of Florida when they show y'all stuff, but yo, this is Florida. Every single day. It's just randomly starts raining out of nowhere. Like, we just had a hurricane, bro. I thought y'all was done with the raining. What, what, what's going on? But arms are on. Now I just need to go get an alignment. Yeah, it wasn't too bad, bro. I don't know why this was giving giving me so much difficulty. I guess because I didn't have the right tools at the at the moment. But now with all the tools I got over the years, it literally took me less than an hour to get these arms out and in. Oh, by the way, if you guys don't have one of these, bro, get one. It makes aligning your uh, arms so much easier well adjusting your arms so much easier um i think for those i did 10 10 point no yeah 10 millimeters for like the the the, the big joint on the bottom like the big nut huh? no diddy bro oh my gosh the big damn what can i even call that whatever the big nut on the bottom and then for the part that actually like you can extend out that goes into your knuckle um i believe that was like 16 or something like that so if you guys want to copy me if you guys plan on getting the same arms as me it'll give you that fitment right there that you guys see actually let me go on the rain so i can show you guys better it'll give you this fitment right here i think that's like negative two or negative 2.5 around there so yeah man dusty gonna look good just don't know how good i'm gonna leave the link to these in the description with my amazon store link so if you guys buy anything i do get a little percentage of that you know it goes back to dusty but uh yeah check out my amazon store i made one like years ago but i never promoted it it literally has almost every single part that i have on dusty on there so, so of course of course it's not gonna have like the v-lip and stuff like that stuff that you buy used or you buy from somebody but everything else like fuel rail and like fuel pressure regulator gauges stuff like that lug nuts um lips that i had should all be on there 
in case you guys want to know what it's called here it is and then I believe this right here is the product number or like the seller's ID or something like that I can't really find the number yeah just look up this brand this right here what the hell does that even say you like yo kids toddlers nope that's something Diddy will like but anyways this is uh these are the coils I mean coils what the heck these are the camera arms Is what we're here for and also the front too damn bro you smell it right it's either I'm burning oil or or it's still all that damn oil in the car every single car when all the stuff that shit burning oil this didn't need a wash and I need to get the roof painted. Yo, mine is bad. The roof? No, like, cause that part mine, in the body shop area. Oh, so all the dust and shit? Bad. Yeah, it's this. Light, man. I don't even know how this is happening. I clear coated this and it's still, it's still fucking fading. That's wild. Take that shit off. Yeah, I'm already prepared for it. That's why I'm trying to figure out what I want to do next. Only thing I can do is paint it. Man, that should look good though. My goodness. And don't even rub. There's no rubbing. That shit is perfect. Then my first couple pulls. My first couple pulls. No spinning. Look at this man cooking my fenders. Oh my lord. That's the fender about to get fender rolled already. No key. <laughs> that's just that's your poking. No key. God damn. You wanna align it or not? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna align it, but I also don't want a bacon fender. Oh shit, this man got it stuck. Hey man, watch the wheels, bro. <laughs> you don't want to talk about getting good fit, fit man. I did it. Now you complaining. Should look good. Yeah, this right here is like yuck. Ain't no problem fitting that one in. Yeah, you still can't fucking load it. That's crazy, bro. What the? Maybe I just need a one that's cut or some shit. Cut? Like, can't, you can't saw that down? This is not my shit, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's maybe, not mine. I'm saying maybe if y'all had one that was like sawed down right here. Because what's what's with that extra space? There's no point of it. That shit ain't doing nothing. Bro, you're cooked, bro. The only thing I could do is your camera right now, bro. You're cooked. <laughs> like, that's not good fit me. That shit looks good. Damn, that looks good. Yeah, that's nasty. That is nasty. Since we're already here, man, let's check underneath Dusty. Because it has been a while since I was able to stand underneath my car. So, let's see what's going on underneath here. All right, everything looking good. Everything looking smooth, like always. No leaks. Yeah. I need to turn on the flashlight to see over here, but yeah, there's no leaks. 
Is that what you doing here, bud? Nope. <laughs> it's all right, that's how I learned too. I just do it, and then when that shit gets me mad, I figure I out how I did it right. Job. I really don't know how I got this job. You know, sometimes you just gotta apply, and sometimes they, they just apply whatever, you feel me? That's what exactly what they do. Make sure it's going out, not in. Are you are you looking to see if it's going out? I hope so. You ain't got the sensor on, so you won't even know. I know that's what sucks. <laughs> that's some good fitment right there. I'm happy with that fitment, to be honest. Oh, it's really damn good. <laughs> Alright guys, we back at the crib man. And yeah, fitment is now complete. Like you guys could see that. That looks freaking good. I wish I had the light like I did at the shop. But yeah. Dusty fitment is fire. Now man, one thing we gotta do now is honestly get her tuned and go rip on her and have some fun. So yeah, we've been doing a couple base not base masks, but like a couple pulls here and there. Like uh yesterday I did a third gear pull, 12 PSI. And uh, I don't know if that thing has any ignition timing, you feel me? I'm not a tuner, so I don't know what Yoshi is doing currently, but it felt it felt strong. So yeah, I I, I just want to throw on the dyno because of safety and plus the content. The content will be booming if I get this thing on the dyno rather than me just doing a one street pull, you feel me? So yeah, that's the goal. Hopefully next week we can get her on a dyno. Today is the 16th, I believe, or 15th. So hopefully tomorrow, not tomorrow, hopefully next week um we can get her on a dyno i am going to new york tomorrow you guys are going to be seeing this on a sunday so when you guys are watching this i am currently in new york so yeah bro if you enjoyed the video man please leave a like comment subscribe follow your boy on instagram at underscore got to soda head to the merch site support the channel support dusty www.zubigarage.com i sell basically anything I, I like is on there so yeah uh in my description of the youtube video you guys will see that I do have a Amazon affiliate. So if you guys want to support me by buying some stuff off the link, um, anything that you guys do buy, does I do get a little percentage of it. So it does help a small, tiny little bit. I never got paid for Amazon, but hey, I see people making a killing off of it. So I said, why not? Let's try it out. But uh, yeah, man, your boy's out. Peace. Yeah. Trouble on my mind. Yes, I got trouble.